She may just be 20 years old, but Isabella Merced is already a huge star. And her career is just getting started. To celebrate her star turn in Netflix's Sweet Girl, let's take a look at the roles that got her here in her road to Netflix. The acting bug hit Isabella from a young age, making her Broadway debut at just 10 years old in a production of Evita alongside Ricky Martin. Her TV acting career began picking up steam in 2013, when she had a recurring role in NBC's family sitcom Growing Up Fisher. Oh, your dad didn't tell you? My mom's out of town for work, so I'm going to Catalina with you guys. And in 2014, she had a recurring voice role on Dora and Friends Into the City, a sequel to the original children's series. I'm Kate, and these are my friends Dora and Pablo. But her breakthrough role came in 2014 on Nickelodeon's 100 Things to Do Before High School, where she played middle schooler CJ Martin, who, along with her two best friends, makes a bucket list filled with things to accomplish before high school. I just want to say I am not proud of what I'm about to do. She also appeared in other Nickelodeon productions, including 2015's Splitting Adam and 2016's Legends of the Hidden Temple. This is a restricted area. I'm putting my foot. Also that year, she played the super smart president of a middle school AV club, Jean, in middle school, The Worst Years of My Life, an adaptation of the 2011 novel of the same name. I just love that someone has the guts, you know, to take on the establishment. By 2017, Isabella was on the big screen in the fifth installment of the Transformers film series, alongside Mark Wahlberg and fellow Netflix alum Laura Haddock. Her character, Isabella with a Z, is a young orphan scavenger on Earth whose only companions are two Autobots. I want to stay and I want to fight them. Transformers director Michael Bay gave her the opportunity to add a few Spanish words to her part after hearing her speak Spanish with her mother on set. That year was definitely busy for her. She also appeared in the hugely popular Kingdom Hearts series, voicing Ava in the English dub. And what's written in the book, all of it will happen. 2018's Sicario Day of the Soldado brought a meteor role and change in genre to Isabella's resume when she played the daughter of a drug kingpin in the action crime sequel. I know who you are. You're the attorney whose family they killed. Her character, Isabel, is captured by a CIA team aiming to start a war between drug cartels on the US-Mexico border. She was reunited with Mark Wahlberg in 2018's Instant Family, a comedy drama where a couple decide to adopt three siblings. Isabella played 15-year-old Izzy, the elder sibling, who is initially not on board with the whole adoption thing. Just, just let me talk to her, please, and then, and then we can figure something out and Honey. she can take me home. Remember how Isabella had a voice role in the Dora series? Well, she stepped it up in 2019 by taking on the lead role in the live-action version, Dora and the Lost City of Gold, playing a grown-up version of the iconic children's character. The movie sees Dora head to high school, a far cry from her explorer roots. That is, until she and her friends are captured by mercenaries trying to steal treasures in Peru. Oh, and there's another Mark Wahlberg connection here. His nephew, Jeff Wahlberg, plays Diego in the film. Diego, you're so skinny and tall. You are way more energetic than I remember. Her first appearance on a Netflix original also came that year in the Christmas rom-com Let It Snow. Snow hides a lot. It's like the space of weather. You can do a lot worse in this place, trust me. Isabella's character Julie is a girl who has a scholarship to Columbia, but feels like she can't leave her mother, who is ill. She and a rising pop star strike up a will-they-won't-they they romance when they meet on a train which gets stopped by snowed over tracks. That brings us to 2021, when she made a return to voice acting in DreamWorks Animation's Spirit Untamed. I'm gonna call you Spirit. <laughs> and of course, she stars alongside Jason Momoa in Netflix's Sweet Girl. This is a tale of a man and his daughter versus some shady pharmaceutical companies. Ray, played by Jason, is devastated when his wife dies of terminal cancer shortly after a life-saving drug is pulled from the market but his quest for revenge on the company responsible lands him and his daughter, played by Isabella, in a whole load of trouble. Yeah! And Isabella's Rachel isn't taking any of this lying down. I know you're fighting for us, but this is my fight too. She joins her father on the fight for justice. And what happens next? Well, you'll have to catch Sweet Girl, now streaming on Netflix. And for more on your favorite Netflix stars, make sure you subscribe to the channel.